Eivor. The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Bassam and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. I believe you do. Now is the time to strike. Before Fulke decides, Sigurd is of no more use to her. I will go now, and I'll bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now. Show me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. Did you forget she has half done yours here? Stop talking if you know what's good for you. What are you doing? You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... Sorry! You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. I have carved a furrow through this teeming land. The skulls sing loud of my deeds. Those who boast have something to prove. The great have no need for it. Aver hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself king of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we are able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I'll not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Sigurd's last. You had better be all they promised.
That snake, Fulke, hides behind walls of stone. But Eivor will drag her out. Still got a soft spot for her, don't you, brother? Him and Eivor? Ha! <laughs> Lower your aim, friend. You'll have better luck. Survey the area soon. Focus scout. Right where Bassam said he would be. Show this to Bassam once I've dealt with the others. Have a look sooner. They said there would be a scout on this hill. I smell blood on the air. Death is close. Did someone find the scout before me?
go. My eyes. If they see me, this will get messy. in the woods east of Porchester. What do you see, Sunan? Scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Folk has news of Croindonen's fall. She's gathering men and supplies. Perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I am reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breath for the fight.
war! This mess is of your baby! We kill them here! Behind the wall of fortune! Either way, they die! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like hounds! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow hours! Leave him! The day is already won! <laughs> <laughs> Sigurd the sickly! If Sigurd dies today, I will find your corpse and piss on it! You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. When you see your god, tell him I sent you. He is dead, Eivor. No breath within him. You are wounded, brother. Let me bear your brother to the camp. He was always quicker than me. Beat me out of the womb by mere moments. Now he has beat me to Valhalla. He knew that he had to be first. This crow feast is my doing. No blame stains you, Eivor. He cut his own path. You always did. For him, there's no more strife and pain. For me, glorious battle and the forever feast. Stripling, I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. 
You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? You knew the danger as well as I did, Guthrum. You saw opportunity, and you took it. Indeed. The fault is none but mine for putting my trust in you. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift, gather your allies, pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I'm not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stove, Juvena, right there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people, but a debt is a debt. Besides, they're men of Vasex, Alfred's folk, no brothers of yours. We will set off immediately. Together, we will fall upon them as Thor's hammer. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gilderfort, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gilderfort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gilderfort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I'll join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would have liked to offer better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We'll need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. Go! Get the murdering dog! Sure met my father. The two got on like. How does it look? Crawling with Saxon soldiers like lice on a swine. The very sight sours my blood. Would the sight of their bodies in the mud please you better? One way to find out. Eivor, I beg you. Alfred's men are not, they are Saxons and Christians. If I could speak to them, we might avoid bloodshed. And lose the element of surprise? These people make their living by the blade. We should attack headlong.
You know the people of this isle better than I, Stoke. I trust you. Thank you, Eivor. I will do what I can. Brave soldiers, my name is Stowe, Reeve of London. And this Dane at my side is Reeve Erke. He is my partner in London. Together we see that justice is done. But more, he is my friend. In London, we live in harmony with the Danes. So could you. But your king does not share our philosophy. Alfred bleeds his land dry. Works you all to the bone for a needless war. Now he wants you to die for it. So I beg you, in God's name, walk away from this camp. I will find you new and worthy employment in London. You are good men and true. I would not want this day to be your last. This one's right. The Danes are here to stay, like it or not. What good's dying now? Don't be a lackwit. Soon as you drop your swords, they'll murder us. That's no heathen talking. He's a Saxon. I, for one, believe him. Come on, lads. It's a new life in London for us. Better that than dying here in the mud. We'll deal with you traitors later. The rest of you... Attack! Brave try, friend, but now we do things my way. When words fail, iron Take speaks loudest. about destroying Fulke's supplies. How will we ever share this land if we kill one another so readily? The weak fall beneath the strong. It has always been so. No. There is more to this world than that. It has to be.